My second update has to do with mergers that are in the news. One is between T-Mobile and Sprint, major telephone companies, and the other one is a merger between Renault, the French car company, and the Fiat Chrysler Merger Corporation. And in both of these mergers, which are underway, uh, there's a, l a lot of talk in the financial press that upset me. It was talking about the benefits to the consumer that will likely result from these mergers. And my economics hat pumped up and said to me, explain why that's not true. Well, here's what it's about. These mergers are always, in part, designed to save on costs, to cut costs, to become leaner and meaner, or whatever metaphors you like. Uh, that's the point, indeed, is to save on costs. And, of course, one of those costs, labor costs, to do away with excess workers that you don't need anymore if two companies with two headquarters and two systems and two warehousing operations merge into one. So it'll produce a lot of unemployment. That's the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing is the statement that saving costs, these companies will pass on the reduced costs in lower prices. In your dreams, they will. The whole point of the merger is to cut the costs without dropping the prices because that will maximize the profits, which is what they're in business to be doing. So you can be just as sure that the merger will cut costs as you can be sure that the merged company will do its damnedest not to cut prices very far because that's how they maximize the profits that you can get out of merging. And here's the irony, of course. This is always going on. Capitalism is a system that puts companies in competition to one another, and typically there's a winner and a loser. One company wins the competition, the other one loses it. And here's what happens after the winning and the losing is done. The winner eats the loser. That's right. The company that lost has to sell off its equipment. Who, who do you think buys used equipment? The company that won. Where will the workers go who lose their jobs from the company that goes out of business? Those lucky enough to get another job will probably try to get one with the company that won, which will have jobs because it's buying the used equipment from the one that lost. And when that process is finished, many companies become fewer companies until they're just big enough and few enough to be able to get together at the golf course, play a few rounds, and cut a few deals in order not to have to drop the prices even after they've cut the costs. That's what typically happens, and that's what mergers are all about. The statement, the statement that they're going to help consumers, here's why that's made, that statement. Not just general PR, public relations, but because these mergers need approval by the authorities, the antitrust authorities in most countries, they need to get the politicians on board to look the other way. And the way you do that is tell a lot of stories about the consumer benefits so they'll pass it through. Don't be fooled.